Astronomers are astounded by the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope of massive galaxies that formed shortly after the Big Bang. These galaxies appear to challenge the galactic evolutionary models of how galaxies formed in the early universe. But what are galactic evolutionary models? How did the Big Bang impact the formation of these early galaxies? And what evidence did astronomers find that contradicts these galactic evolutionary models? To better understand this, let's explore the galactic evolutionary models of how galaxies formed in the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. After the Big Bang, the universe was a dense fog of matter and energy. It took around 400,000 years for the expanding universe to cool enough for matter to coalesce and form stars and galaxies. This period of time is known as the Dark Ages. During this time, there were no objects emitting light, only the leftover light from the Big Bang. It took around 1 billion years for stars to form and gather into galaxies, which would then emit enough light for us to see from a great distance. Most models of galactic evolution suggest that galaxies formed in the early universe were relatively low in mass, with only a few stars. Over time, these galaxies have grown to become much more massive, such as our own Milky Way, which is estimated to contain at least 100 billion stars and weighs about 1.5 trillion solar masses. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021, is a revolutionary next-generation space telescope that can look back in time and verify the accuracy of galactic evolutionary models. This telescope is specifically designed to detect infrared light, which is the stretched out form of ultraviolet light emitted by newly formed stars. This allows us to observe galaxies that formed right after the Dark Ages, when the universe was still very young and galaxies were just beginning to form. Additionally, James Webb is able to penetrate gas clouds and observe the formation of stars and planets that would otherwise be invisible. Astronomers are astounded by the initial images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope of the early universe. These pictures indicate that galaxies in the early universe are much more massive than expected, based on galactic evolutionary models. Astronomers used redshift to measure the distances to six galaxies and determined that they were all approximately 30 billion light years away, indicating that they were formed within 700 million years of the Big Bang. These galaxies, with masses of at least 10 billion and up to 100 billion solar masses, were not predicted to exist according to models of galactic evolution. Most models suggest that galaxies this young should be relatively low mass, with few stars, and then gradually grow in size and complexity over time until they become more like our own Milky Way galaxy. Also, the centers of these young galaxies appear to be forming much earlier than previously thought, resulting in them being both massive and surprisingly compact. The rest of the galaxy then builds up around them. Additional research using spectroscopy will be performed next. By breaking up white light into its component colors, astronomers can learn many properties of stars and galaxies, such as their chemical composition, temperature, density, mass, distance, and luminosity. Additionally, spectroscopy can measure the Doppler shift, which shows the velocity of motion towards or away from the observer. By studying the spectra of these galaxies, astronomers will gain insight into their chemical composition and rotation speed. Additionally, this data will more accurately determine their distance from us. It is possible that something is obscuring the estimates of distance, or that they are appearing to be farther away than they actually are. If these findings are accurate, they could present a challenge to our understanding of the universe. According to galactic evolutionary models, there wasn't enough gas in the early universe to form the number of massive galaxies that recent findings suggest. This means that these monster galaxies contain more stars than the available gas in the early universe, which is problematic. We may need to re-examine our models of the early universe and its contents. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to move the boundaries of this area of research into the early universe, and it is exciting to see that we are making progress. If you enjoyed this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.